You know, I was trying to make a video about the top five laptops and then I realized I only like laptops as a friend. I don't have laptops. I'm more of a tablet kind of guy or a desktop kind of guy. You know, you give me a small form factor desktop with like nice curves, like some aluminum and a nice backpack. And I'm like, yo girl, what's up? So for me, I had to recuse myself for actually being in this list and actually have any deciding factor on choosing the top five. So when you're like that and you can't really choose a top five because you don't really mess with the product, you turn to Amazon, who is the second best at this, I guess. But I don't know, it's not really so much Amazon as it is the people who make the decisions and choose the laptops. And I can live a thousand years and I still wouldn't be able to come up with a list as good as the one that I found on the Amazon recommendation page after doing a little bit of research. That research we'll talk about here in a second, but without further ado, let's get things started. Also, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to uh, keep following. Uh, we will keep posting more content. We post content as much as humanly possible. And without further ado, let's get things started with the top five laptops as voted by you, the viewer. So with the criteria here, I did have to set some ground rules. So we can't essentially go off of just what it shows on Amazon because that's just misleading. So what I did instead is one, it must have four four and a half stars or better. So you need to have four and a half stars in order to be considered in this list. Two, you have to be less than two years old, okay? I get that the 2020 MacBook Pro was awesome, but no one cares because no one's gonna buy it. So you have to be within two years old in order for you to actually be on this list. And then three, you have to have over a thousand reviews, okay? That is a minimum. But as you will learn here pretty soon, it doesn't matter. Everybody on this list has way more than a thousand reviews because that lets us know that out of a thousand reviews over the past two years, it still is a very, very positive product and is very well liked, which lets us know that this is a great product to go for. So without further ado, let's get things started. Kicking things off with the number five spot, we have the MSI Cyborg 2023 edition, the 15.6 inch model. And for those of you who aren't aware, the 15.6 inch is the size of the screen and it also is 144 hertz and full HD, which means that it is 1080p, which is going to be your high definition. It also comes with 32 gigs of RAM, a RTX 4050, and a one terabyte NVMe. So, and, and for those of you who literally don't care, what those numbers are is that it is kind of middle ground. So essentially because it's only full HD, it's only 1080p, the processor and the graphics card does not have to work as hard in order to fill the pixels on your screen. So that means that 144 Hertz in some games, you may actually hit that, right? So you may actually get that higher refresh rate because you're only dealing with 1080p. And as we discussed in previous videos, that is more about the computer processor than it is about the graphics card, but even laptops even more so because it doesn't have to work as hard. So for gaming, that is definitely something you wanna go with. Plus it has 32 gigs of RAM, which is overkill for most people, but it's also really good if you wanna do something like video editing, basically it can kind of be like your all purpose computer. And for the price point at 1249, this guy is great. So, you know, if you decide that you want to do content creation, do a little gaming on the side, if you decide that you want to do a little streaming on the side, it's got you back. And this is one of the greater products I've seen so far outside of a few that are further down this list. But if you don't have plans on buying something like an Xbox Game Pass or a cloud streaming application like the NVIDIA GeForce Now, which means that playing games online, then this guy is great you know otherwise then I would choose a product on this list further down I wanted to bring up here for cloud gaming Xbox Live Game Pass as well as GeForce Now what that essentially means is instead of using your laptop's graphics card for gaming you use their graphics card that's located in their server rooms and essentially you are just streaming the actual video game instead of actually rendering it yourself and in doing so you don't have to have as much headroom when it comes to your graphics card on your laptop so you can essentially go for cheaper laptops and still have the ability to game because you can essentially stream it from somewhere else. All right, back to the video. If you have one computer to buy and you want it to be solid at gaming, then this is definitely one of those ones that fits the bill, plus other ones down on this list. However, other ones down on this list may also have some limitations, particularly when it comes to gaming that this one does not have. So please bear that in mind and we will move on. Next up, we have the MacBook Air M2 edition with the 256 gigs of storage. This is actually kind of a bit of a shocker. I guess storage doesn't matter to anyone when it comes to iCloud. So this guy here is something that you would definitely see because it's kind of lightweight, which most people like. Most, most people, especially college students, generally don't like heavier laptops. They generally like things that are very, very light. And those dongle situation that the MacBook Air has doesn't matter at all when it comes to the price point. So I would say the MacBook Air takes this throne. Now, there are other MacBook products that have 
have higher amount of reviews. However, I chose the MacBook Air because one, the MacBook Pro 2020 is the one that actually has the most reviews, but it's from 2020, so it doesn't fit our list. And then the newest one that just came out is the MacBook Air M3 model. And that guy's only been out for a few days, so it's never gonna hit the thousand you know, review criteria that we currently have set. So this guy is a solid medium. However, if you are gonna go for the MacBook, then I would suggest going for the M3 model that just came out as opposed to going for the M2 model that is currently in its infancy. <laughs> so I would go ahead and get that M3 if you can. Alrighty, and now we are down to the top three, which ironically is all Acer. Who would have thought they would have came through in the clutch? Good job, Acer. <laughs> Alrighty, and the number three spot goes to the Acer Aspire 1 for $200. I repeat, it is $200. It is the exact same price as a Amazon Fire HD 11 Max, which is around that exact same price point, which is basically, it is on the same price point as a tablet, which I know everybody's gonna ask, and I will go ahead and give you the answer. How are the specs? <laughs> I was about to cuss. Trash, okay, they're not great. I'll just go over them and then we can talk about it. So essentially it gives you four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs, gigabyte EMMC, which is essentially flash for those of you who are not aware. It's ideal for anyone that's about 13 and under. Uh, the reason is it's not necessarily because of the flash, which isn't great. It's a little bit slower, but the RAM just simply, it, it, it bottlenecks you. There's not a whole lot that you can do with it. So, so if you are not a serious surfer of the internet and you're not a serious user of computers, then this is great. And so, you know, so that usually is gonna fall into that less than 13 and over 50 range, you know. I'm not saying that, you know, that that is everybody. I'm saying that just for the majority of people who really aren't that fast when it comes to working with computers, that's usually who fits the bill. And there's a reason why a lot of people buy it. It's great for, you know, or if you want a laptop that you just wanna destroy, like if you're gonna give it to like an eight year old so they'd have something to work on and it doesn't matter how fast it is or what happens to it, then this is guy, kind of guy that would fit the bill. You know, the four gigs of RAM really does hold it back, but at the same time, it's $200. So you can't really complain about the price point and I understand why it is in our top five. Typically, I'm starting to realize that people tend to think with their wallets a lot more than they think about these specs. Alrighty, and for the number two spot, we have the Acer Nitro 5 Gaming Laptop. Ooh, that is a mouthful. Let's go over the specs and we'll talk about exactly what that means. The, this deal is crazy though, so I will say that you get the 12th gen CPU RTX 4060, which is decent graphics, better than the MSI 2023 Cyborg earlier in our list, 144 hertz IPS panel, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte NVMe. Now I would say that the, the Cyborg has 32 gigs of RAM. However, the Cyborg is also $320 more than this guy. This guy comes in at 949 for what you get there. So that means that you have 144 Hertz, you have a full HD screen, and you have a RTX 4060 and a 12th gen processor a little bit weaker than the MSI Cyborg. However, at $320 less, I mean, my bro, my guy, like, okay. At, at some point, if you're not gonna be using it to make Adobe videos and you're just gonna be using it for gaming and, and you know, opening a gazillion tabs, then this guy is perfectly fine for that. The only time I would say that you really need 32 gigs of RAM is if you have something that's named Adobe. If you don't know what Adobe is, then please, my guy, do not worry about it. Go for the 949 one, save yourself $320 $20, it is not worth it. This is a great laptop for those who are not looking to spend a ton of money but still wants a gaming laptop that can kind of do everything. And if they decide they want to go for Adobe or content creation, they can just add more memory. So for this guy here, I would say it definitely deserves a second spot and it is a beast and it is a reason why this guy is so well liked. Finally, we have the number one spot that actually fits our criteria. Brace yourselves because I didn't know it was this one either. This is going to be the Acer Aspire 3 with 38 thousand ratings in over a year. It's like a little over a year. That's, that is insane. That is better than MacBooks. That's better than Razer Blades. That is better than the Lenovo Legion 9Is and Acer Aspires, whatever. It is so good. So let's get into the specs here and let's talk about it. It is a Ryzen 3 quad core processor. So low to mid grade processor, integrated graphics and no dedicated graphics card, but it has 128 gig NVMe SSD and it's 1080p and it's 299. Okay. So what this is, okay, this is actually going to be much better than the option that we had on our list that actually had the 128 gig EMMC hard drive, which is actually just like an SD card. <laughs> this right here is actually an NVMe SSD. So it is much faster, SATA faster, much faster than our previous top five contender. And on top of that, it actually gives you decent processing, 
Ryzen 3 also has integrated graphics, so it's enough to do pretty much all of your normal daily tasks. It does not have a graphics card, but if you don't have plans on gaming, then this guy is great. I can see why this guy is number one. It fits everyone, except for people who wanna play video games. And for those guys, who cares, I guess. No, but for those guys, there are other laptops in our list. But for the majority of people who are not looking to game, or, or they are rather game on GeForce Now or Xbox Gold, and stream their games using their graphics card as opposed to their laptop's graphics card, then this guy is perfect for you. It gives you exactly what you need and nothing more. And when I say nothing more, I mean nothing more. This guy is a bare bones processor that is good for all ages, okay? It's no limitations like it was with our $200 model above. It is good for all ages, but it is very, very affordable. Again, people thinking with their wallets. And it makes me wonder what exactly do I wanna make videos over in the future? Because it appears that people tend to go for the lower price point that gives you exactly what you need and nothing more. So for those I say to you, this, gra this laptop is one of the greatest laptops I have seen and one of the highest rated laptops I have seen on Amazon to this date. And it deserves the number one spot in our tier list of the top five laptops as of March, 2024. And that is gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, gonna like, but if you really like it for me, gonna subscribe. I love you either way. Take care, all the best and bye. I will see you next time. Peace.